Hi there, thrifting friends. Let's take a quick run through MCC Thrift Shop. As springtime blooms anew, thrift shopping emerges as an enchanting gateway to revitalize home decor in 2024. Delving into the treasure troves of secondhand boutiques and vintage markets, we can discover a kaleidoscope of possibilities to infuse our home with seasonal charm. With an eye for the unique and a penchant for the past, thrift shopping for spring home decor in 2024 becomes a delightful journey of discovery where every beautiful antique has a touch of timeless elegance so as I'm going from thrift shop to thrift shop, I'm finding tons of China tableware at really, really cheap prices. And the color schemes are light. They're pastels, light greens, light blues. Perfect time to bring some color into the home. Don't you just love that? I love that display right there. Love it. And remember, things with yellow tags are 75% off. There's some yellow right there. Like usual, I didn't find many yellow tags myself, but that's okay. I'm always finding deals there. And here we have a very pretty pressed glass pink oh, ruffled candy dish for $15. It has the same color as depression glass, but I don't believe it's depression glass. And I was just in love with this set of dishes. Plums on white. The contrast was so gorgeous. And it was a bright white. Not a yellow tag though. Orange. Too bad. I would have snapped it all up. If it would have been 75% off. Ridgeway. Shepherd Shear. Beautiful. Look at that. Perfect for spring. What do you think? And they had multiple pieces too. And the saucers are dark blue. Hold on, hold on, stop the video right now. I want to bring you guys into my kitchen, but not just yet. And we're going to fix up what I bought today at MCC Thrift Shop. And we have some more unique figurines. I've never seen this type before. I love the blue. Breaking out the old razzle dazzle. $8 for this lovely lady. Not bad, not bad at all. They had some very, very different things there when I went in. And the prices were good too. This little fella, $2. Orange tag, not yellow, too bad. And the dolls I found were very affordable. One, as we'll see, is only $5. $2 as is, her dress is broken. Too bad. That candy dish, I swear, if it'd be cheaper, it would come home with me. I love the green and red. That vase is chipped, too bad. Kind of an Indian ink pattern. I see them. And then this, talk about gorgeous. $5 for that plate. Roses. Vintage toaster, as is. I remember burning toast in those. <laughs> Seven pieces for $10. I guess the seventh piece must be the blue velvet box. And we have their art gallery. MCC Thrift Store has some nice pieces. Comes and goes. Nice stuff goes really quick. And then, well, other stuff too is really nice. $17 for that. It's been there for a few weeks. Thought that was a nice one. Do you guys buy cross stitches that are already finished to decorate your place? A lot of work goes into those. A lot of times the finished product is cheaper than if you go out and buy the kit yourself. But I know the fun is in making it. I get it. And we have some more framed art. Some stuff a little bit on the amateur side, but still. The price is right. That lighthouse was gorgeous. Find 1977, 
And this is a print. I believe it's a dark sky. And they have kind of a home fitness section, luggage. I don't usually spend much time there. Today was a quick run through. And as you know, I will show you what I bought and I will fix it up right in front of your eyes. So we'll do something a little different later on in the video. Cute turtle for two bucks. I just love that. A dollar, a dollar, as is. Has a couple chips. At a dollar. And I spy my little eye on a pony for a buck. The roses are always calling my name. Always. <laughs> I just can't, you know, get enough of them. That bell was not old country roses, by the way. And we have gobble gobble salt and pepper shakers, turkey, but his little beak is chipped. You know, now thinking about it, I could have fixed that. I could have sanded it and put some paint on it. A dollar a piece. What was I thinking leaving those there? I'm always looking at salt and pepper shakers. I never buy many of them, I gotta admit, but I always have to look. Gorgeous. Should have brought you home. And some teacups. Later in the video, I'll show you a crafty idea to do with your mismatched teacups. Check out this set. Do you guys recognize it? I don't. I should have looked more at it. Like a dollar. Yeah. And we get into more springtime flower pots, baskets, all beautiful things to just, you know, add a touch of warmth to the home. And the prices are really good. The wooden section. Never know what you can find there. Oh, what's that little thing? Miniature liquor cabinet? No, no. Jewelry box. Nice fixer upper for four dollars. Repaint it. Brass elephant, trunk up for good luck. And the classic canning jars. <laughs> what thrift store would be a thrift store without canning jars? Now these ones here are $6 each. Royal Grafton, Bone China, England. I gotta say, beautiful pattern for spring. This one too, for $3. Made in England. Mona. Pretty pastels. I remember those when I was a kid. Oranges on shells, a dollar each. And that set is very popular. We've seen that around. And with the silver rim, a lot of people like silver rims versus gold on China. Vintage Pyrex, $6. Kind of a rusty red. Pie plates, perhaps. I don't think I've ever seen that color on Pyrex pie plates before. And a cute tiny little dish. Painted roses for $2. Everything's in nice shape there. This is made in China. Although that green pastel is definitely springtime influenced. Okay, check this out. What's your price? Zero. Zero! <laughs> Both sides, zero. Can I have it? No. I put it back. I didn't know what the price was. I didn't, yeah. 
That one's $8. So I imagine that one should have been probably more like $8. Check it out. Gorgeous. Again, plums, oranges. Everything feels so springtime. It's April when I shot this video and a, about a week or so before it was filmed, we had four inches of snow in Calgary, four inches. And it had melted. It was a gorgeous day to go out thrifting. The thrift stores were packed. That's why I'm not pushing a cart. I would just be in the way I get. It's just too much of a hassle when there's a lot of people in. I know it doesn't look like there's a lot of people in, but I, I dodge them. <laughs> so I don't want to videotape them, but they're everywhere. Shopping, feeling good in the spring air. Spring has sprung. And people want to redecorate. They want to donate. They're going and doing some spring cleaning. Collecting up things to bring to the thrift shops to donate. And then do a quick run through to bring more stuff home. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> And we have a collection of candle holders. Now I'm going to show you something, a craft you can do right there with a teacup. They glued it onto the saucer, put some wax in and a candle wick, and there you go. Great gift idea. If you're a little kid, you can make that for mom for Mother's Day, perhaps. Or for grandma. Or for yourself. Gorgeous, gorgeous wine glasses with a splash of color underneath. Those teal blue ones. Oh my gosh. Art Deco vase for $18. I'm calling it Art Deco. Perhaps it's not. This here, $20 for that picture. Yes, it is. Department 56. A la carte. A la carte. That's got to be worth something. If they're pricing it at $20. Probably worth what? $60? Wish it'd be like five dollars though. <laughs> the place is loaded with clothing. I don't do much clothing shopping, but if you guys tell me you want to see some secondhand thrifted clothes, I can do a video on that for sure. I see a lot. Books. Oh my gosh, my mother had all of these. When I was a kid, it was like way over my head, but I play with those books. Vintage stuff magazines and then we get over to the game section and remember yellow tags are on sale 75 percent off so they put a collection of yellow tags here so it makes it easier easier for the shoppers to find them they don't have to go pick through the shelves they can go right there 35 percent off a dollar book is like 25 cents now monopoly is that old or not i don't know one thing they do here is they take the pieces out, the stuff that people tend to steal, and they hold it at the cash. So when you buy it, you got to ask for the pieces, the game board pieces at the cash register so that you know you have them versus somebody going in and stealing a shoe out of Monopoly or something. You get home and it's like, what? I'm missing the little shoe. That's the best one. Okay, shoes, <laughs> $2.50. Ellie Henson shoes, $2.50. Pretty good deal. Beautiful bedspreads, textiles. They have so much stuff here. In a moment, we'll get into the crafting section. Yeah. A lot of work goes into those hand crocheted or knitted blankets. And here we have the crafts. Tons of books, knitting, scrapbooking, painting, fix it yourself. Tons of stuff like that there. And you have needlework kits. $10 for that. Wish it had been cheaper. What is that? Is that cruel embroidery? Rooster. And we get into beads. And jewelry making. And good old simplicity and butterwick patterns. I remember those. I haven't made anything from a pattern and probably... Oh my gosh, 30 years. Stamping, rubber stamps by the, oh my gosh, you have tons of, the forest of knitting needles. I just had to pan across, I thought it looked lovely. Buttons, buttons. 
small pieces of like new fabric, two bucks. In different prices on the yarn, a dollar for a little skein. Yarn has gone up a lot in the stores. And we have the furniture. We'll do a quick run through of furniture. And this sofa here stood out to me. Gotta check the feet. A lot of carving on it. The upholstery, very rugged. Formal but comfortable. Price, $285. $285. It's a nice piece. It was in very, very nice shape. Get into a little bit of brass, brass teapot for $10. Have some vases, bells, and pewter, Rome. I always check out the silver stuff, and at the end of the video, you will see why. Gorgeous. Hey, I love these things. $5. Did I? No, maybe, maybe, you're a maybe. A gorgeous vase, brown, glossy, ceramic, beautiful, beautiful vase. Why couldn't you have a yellow sticker on you? Salt and pepper shakers that look like a stump. A pair of stumps, wooden. A dollar each, though. Have these two men smile in there, happy. Yay, it's springtime. Let's go to the thrift shop. Now this section here is in the front of the store by the cash registers and they keep uh, the more expensive things under lock and key. $100 for that little baby. Oh, there's a lot to see. Sorry about the reflection. It's under glass. $15 for the bowl. Salt and pepper shakers galore here. We'll do a once over and then we'll come back and we'll look at them from a different angle. So don't worry, don't worry. Oh, those are old. $20 for those birds. $15 for those birds. I haven't seen birds like that before. Where they're sitting like nested in a tree as salt and pepper shakers. So those are $15 right there. Those love birds, I'm going to call them. Oh no, those little blue teal ones. Th those are 20 Otters. Do you see the otters? $3 a piece. Or are they beavers? Oh, I don't know. Military equipment goes for big bucks, apparently. Left, 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 right, left. Now, this would be a vintage piggy bank mechanical. For how much? $95. It works. And these old radios, remember those? Some of you guys will. I know you will. Very retro. The nicer shoes that they're not going to sell for two dollars and fifty cents in the back and <laughs> get the highest price that they can for them that's too bad <laughs> shoes and purses and little cars eight dollars for you dinged up pretty good seen that pair of bears there for months now the dolls seem to be a good price, $15 for her. And remember, all the prices are in Canadian dollars. So $15 would be about $10 US, roughly. And I think she's $10. More toys and collectibles. Marvel. And we have a Mickey Mouse back scratcher. Light bright. I checked to see if I could find the date on it. I could not. It looks like the stuff from the 70s though. Now we're going to see some lead soldiers. And I think some of them are Barclay. That means anything to you. 
Check them out. They're lead, hand painted, old, maybe British. In terms of where they're from. Gorgeous. You know, I'd like to have those. The more I think about it, I might go back and okay, I gotta stop. <laughs> I'm gonna go broke here. I love that. That's been there for months. Okay, five dollars for her. This doll, you tell me. Is that a deal? Is she anything special? She or he? What's the deal? Why only five dollars? I eyeballed it quickly. I didn't see any breaks in it or cracks. Mystery. Let's pan around a little bit and see the store. This is just part of it, not even half of the store. Gorgeous. This is where we started. Now, I'm going to pick up some things. And then we're going to do a project together. And I'll show you a trick to cleaning silver. And that's what I bought today. So let's move on telling you ladies save a lot of time doing it like this all that silver silver plated silver you see at thrift stores well don't leave it behind bring it home clean it up it all needs a good home after all there come on get in there Look at that. <laughs> My grandmother taught me how to do this. You don't have to actually have boiling water with a flame underneath it. It just needs to be really hot. Boiling, put it into whatever. But I like to be a bit more dramatic, as you can tell. A bit more brave. Okay. I think we're good. Now I'll give it a quick once over with some silver polish. I'll let it dry, then I'll come back and buff it with a paper towel. See that area here had all that black, all those black spots on it. Look at that. Magic. <laughs> yeah. You just wipe it off. And there we have it. Polished, shiny, beautiful. Looks brand new. Now, if you saw some of my short videos, I showed you guys this. I'm like, what is it? You know, you put flowers in it, but it was you guys who told me it's a flower frog. Frog. I would have never thought, you know, tack the word frog on the end of it. So what do you do? I never find them together. Put it like that. And then you put the stems of the flowers in, fill it up with water, and, they, and it separates the flowers. Awesome. Awesome. So I found this separately. Sometimes, you know, they're bigger, all depends. And you see them sold individually like that. And it's like, what is that? Flower frog. Grab it because you never know. You might find something like this down the line. So I also picked up this guy here who is a candlestick holder. Paid a dollar for it. By the way, paid $5 for this candlestick holder. And um, yeah, so it would look something like this. But today, heck with it. I have no flowers that are ready in my garden. I'm just gonna set it just like that. What do you guys think? Not bad, hey, for a spring bouquet. <laughs> Please hit that subscribe and you might wanna check out one of these videos on either side of the bouquet. Thanks for watching, guys.